welcome back to Fable 3. We're going to carry on with some side quests. I'm going to jump straight in like I have been lately. I can't believe this. I just can't believe it. Last Saturday should have been the greatest day of my life. I took my fiance Sonia to the most romantic place I could think of, and I pulled out the ring I'd spent my life savings on. The last rays of sun struck that diamond, and a thousand miniature stars exploded and danced across her flawless face. And then I dropped it down the sewer. It's gone! Okay, got to keep it. Okay. Brilliant! I'm saved! Now, in the interest of full disclosure, the sewers are said to be quite dangerous. Which is why I'm not down there myself. Let's get down into the sewers then. Where are we going? Oh, that. Nothing can hear. Oh, I could go on up that way, okay. So what we got?
I reckon this is the ring. There we go. Let's return it to me then. Oh, those hops are dealt with. Right, let's get this ring back. find it that was truly divine intervention it really was although that would mean that my dropping it in the first place was divine intervention too right I can't credit only the good stuff and that would mean it was divine intervention that gave me an ulcer and almost cost me the woman I love and kept me from getting any sleep this week in a universe that's at best apathetic and at worst actively sadistic what possible point can there be in getting married I hope I kept the receipt for this. Okay, he's got some problems. <laughs> right, let's see what we've got to do next. First of all, I'm going to check my money. Have we reached that? Fancy a bit of counting, do you? No, we haven't reached anywhere near the top of that. Alright, industrial, we've got factory volunteers and bounty hunter. No, um, um, morning wood. Ah, the brother, the uh, Sam's brother, Matt. Yeah, we'll do that one. As we did that at one point. We were going to go right home after the party, but now he's gone off. I've got to find him. If Mum finds out about all this, she'll kill us. 
or, you know, the equivalent. Wonderful. Now, I do kind of know where he is. Um, follow me. Mum always warned us about drinking. It was quite sweet, actually, her concern. She used to say, touch that stuff and you'll end up a worthless, filthy old tramp, like your father. We always respected her wishes in that regard, which is actually a bit uncharacteristic for us. But Max, he just started putting it away. And all the time he's reading out incantations from the book, laughing like a maniac. He turned the trees upside down, it, it was raining handbags at one point, and then he summoned this huge flaming demon who was amazing at croquet. And there were weird bits as well. I told him he should lay off, and he said if I didn't like the party, I could leave. And I said, why don't you leave? And he left. And he took the party with him. Here, I'll just get inside. So, if you just turn into a wisp, you can fly right in... Oh, sorry. Stupid of me. Uh, here. He's in there somewhere. I'd go with you, but I think that would just upset him. Good luck. now let's just head on There's a chest. Get this chest open quickly. Gold. I did that just in case. You never know. Not much way. Right, it's the only way is down.
Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, the ghost! Well, that's not what I expected you to do. Dogs go mad. You really are a party pooper just like Mum. She never lets me do anything. It's always cut it out. And put that down, and you'll have a leash of ancient evil again. Well, I've had enough of her oppression. I've had a taste of real freedom now. And ale, by the way, which was quite nice as well. <laughs> I didn't want to. But if it's a choice between that and going back to Mum, you've forced my hand. Right, what do we do? Oh, Max, I thought I had a massive spike scene starting to descend into an inescapable chamber. He's gone too far this time. I mean, when we first found the book and read from it, that was just healthy for curiosity. And when we summoned that load of hollow men in Bowerstone Cemetery, that was really just an innocent misunderstanding. And the banshee we raised that nearly destroyed Bloodstone, that got blown way out of proportion. But I mean, killing you like this, that crosses a line. Just look at this situation. You're trapped in a room, spikes start coming down out of the ceiling, and actually, they're moving quite fast, aren't they? They were much higher when I came in. I mean, you might only 
only seconds away from death. Oh, uh, right, sorry. There. I think that's fine. Go on, then. Right, let's go find Max and put a stop to this. Alright, that was... Oh, is it a bit long? There's a chest over here. I reckon when we hit those light spots we're going to be right now.
come! I knew I would find you two getting up to no good. What are you doing here? Never mind. You've been reading from that book again, haven't you? And do I smell a Yes, on Max. He had rather a lot, actually. You snitch! This is why I never want you around. You get down off there this instant and march straight back to your grave. And you're not getting any supper! Oh, Mom! We're sorry, Mom! <laughs> I told you we'd get in trouble! No, you didn't. Thank you for finding my sons and for getting that book away from them. I don't know how they could have got their cold, dead hands on it. But then I don't really want to know. I have nothing to give you except this advice. Don't have your children buried near you, especially if they're anything like mine. Well, that's that um, quest done. Let's just have another check on the thing. Ah, hello. On the money. The legendary Norman Nobico. As a young boy, I endured ex. Oh, but I think that's about it for today. I think that was quite a long side quest. Let me know down in the comments what you think. What, anything I've done wrong, anything I've done right, like normal. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.